Hello, I'm Dr. Midorsky. And I'm Dr. Court. And welcome back to our series, Ask a Physician, where we answer your questions about plastic surgery. We're excited to have Dr. Suzanne Court join us here at the Appearance Center of Newport Beach. Dr. Court, tell me something about yourself. So I did the majority of my training at LA County USC in Los Angeles from general surgery to research to plastic surgery and then two postgraduate fellowships and one in aesthetic plastic surgery. What kind of things are you interested in in plastic surgery? So I truly love it all. And the thing that fascinated me most about plastic surgery was plastic surgeons did it for everything from scalp to toes, head to toe. So this is a great question, Dr. Midorsky. What direction is plastic surgery going and what do you feel is the future? Plastic surgery in the last five years has been really impacted by innovations of anesthesia. Yeah. Something that we've pioneered at the Appearance Center is gentle sleep anesthesia. It's so what's a, that? It's a non-general anesthesia. It's a sedation type anesthesia that allows us to do longer, more complex cases oh. on people who are, may not be in the best of health. So we've even operated on patients in their 70s, in late 70s, and a few in their early 80s. Oh, that's incredible. That's fantastic. Well, so tell me, what do you think is the future of plastic surgery? I think it's changing with the emerging technologies that exist today, whether it be things like all therapy, microfocused ultrasound, or microneedling with radio frequency. So I feel like we can, with these new technologies, stave off plastic surgery until it becomes necessary. So I actually joke with my girlfriends, I said, my job is to keep us looking 35 until we're 65 and need a facelift. <laughs> How do you know what size and type of breast implant one should get? Great question. So the first thing I ask a patient is, are you interested in saline or silicone? Now, most people like silicone implants, and I have some examples here because they seem to mimic the feel of breast tissue. So silicone breast implants have also changed and improved. This is an example of a fourth generation silicone gel, which is a very high quality implant. But now this is an example of a fifth generation silicone gel. And not only have they made the shells thicker, but this gel inside more cohesive. And this is termed the gummy bear implant, because if I were to cut it and show you the halves, it would resemble a gummy bear candy, which is important because people have concerns about the gel leaking out. So it's more cohesive and tends to stay more intact. So if you cut it in half, the gel will still be stuck in the implant, even though the implant is opened? Yes. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you for joining our latest episode of Ask a Physician. Please comment below if you have any burning plastic surgery questions. And click like and subscribe 